Hi, it's Dr. David Green, founder and CEO of R3 Stem Cell, the global leader in regenerative therapies. Today we're discussing stem cell therapy for diabetes in India. There are two main types of diabetes. Type 1 is when your immune system attacks and destroys your insulin producing cells in the pancreas. Typically there's a genetics component to that plus environmental and it's often diagnosed much earlier in life. Type 2 is actually much more common. Um, It involves uh, being overweight, potentially being sedentary. There's a genetic component, race, age, high blood pressure, and abnormal cholesterol can lead to type 2. Unfortunately, diabetes is ridiculously popular around the world. In the United States, for instance, 10.5% of the U.S. population has diabetes. Over the age of 65, it's 27%. India is just slightly higher at 11.2%. Worldwide, there's over 400 million cases. Over a third of Americans have what's called pre-diabetes, when they have a chronic higher than normal blood sugar. When you look that up for India, it's actually much lower than that. It's about half of that in America. What are the complications from diabetes? Well, if you don't control it well, Uh, There's quite a few potential issues. Cardiovascular disease, neuropathy, kidney damage, eye damage, foot damage, skin conditions. Uh, It can affect your hearing and it can lead to Alzheimer's and depression. So when you look at the conventional treatment options for diabetes, the goal is to control the blood sugar and prevent the future complications. Um, Type 1 diabetes is managed typically with insulin as well as dietary changes and exercise. Um, A lot of individuals live with that throughout their lives and they can lead a very fruitful and and healthy life uh, with that. Now type 2 diabetes may be managed with non-insulin medications or if it gets bad enough insulin and then some lifestyle changes like reducing the weight, changing the diet. At last check, uh, in the United States alone, there was over 10 different classes of medications geared towards treating type 2 diabetes. Now, when you look at stem cell therapy for diabetes, it's really a new paradigm. It's a non-operative treatment that can actually help repair and regenerate tissue that's been damaged, along with providing relief and improved function. It's a low-risk treatment that's outpatient and very effective. And our protocol involves a combination of intravenous and focal injections. So <clears throat> before going into how, how do stem cell biologics work, um, the traditional medications like for type 2, there's so many of them, I can't turn on TV and not see literally an ad or two for a di- new diabetes type 2 medication. But when you look at them, you know, they don't change the course of the disease. They might help the, uh, the pancreas function better, but they're not going to actually improve um, for, you know, m- prevent scar tissue, things like that. It just, it's a very different way of looking at it. So how do stem cell biologics work? Well, first and foremost, there's paracrine signaling, which means cell to cell signaling. They can call in and recruit more cells to help out the situation. They can create more blood flow, which is called um, angiovascularization, um, angiogenesis. Uh, They can reduce um, cell death in the pancreas, Uh, neovascularization just mentioned, immunomodulation. You know, diabetes is an autoimmune disease. The body is fighting against itself and it can help put that um, fight, you know, to rest for a long period of time. There's some direct mechanisms that we don't actually fully understand yet. Let's go, a few, a few, let's go through a few studies that have been looking at stem cell therapy for diabetes. Here's one, uh, clinical efficacy of stem cell therapy for diabetes. It was a meta-analysis where they pulled together a bunch of studies. This one pulled together over 20 studies with over 500 patients. They infused umbilical cord mesenchymal stem cells and it provided a significant beneficial outcome in type 1 diabetes. The administration of stem cell therapy early after diabetes diagnosis was more effective than intervention at later stages, um, and they concluded that it was a safe and effective treatment for those with type 1. 
Now in this paper, um, they reviewed mesenchymal stem cells as a new therapeutic approach for diabetes and pancreatic disorders in general. All right, so because the mesenchymal stem cells have an extreme immunomodulatory beneficial action, um, it could stop the production of the self antibodies against the pancreatic beta cells, thus blocking the um, progression of, of diabetes. Mes mesenchymal stem cells represent the promising strategy for the treatment of the three main pancreatic disorders, diabetes, pancreatitis, and pancreatic cancer. So <clears throat> with diabetes, we've seen amazing results. With pancreatitis, we've also seen amazing results. We actually don't treat uh, cancer with uh, our form of stem cell therapy, so I can't comment um, on that. So stem cell secretome is a new booster for regenerative medicine. So the secretome of a stem cell is all the different secretions. And it's combined as a secretome. And that could include uh, the exosomes. We use those frequently for patients with diabetes. Um, those are a byproduct of stem cells, part of the secretome. So in this study, they looked at that. The stem cell secretome showed great potential in a variety of clinical applications, not just diabetes type 1, but also treatment for hair loss, neurogenerative disease, cardiac disease, osteoarthritis. <clears throat> in this study, they looked at the long-term effect and safety of Wharton's jelly-derived mesenchymal stem cells on type 2 diabetes. So these individuals underwent two IV procedures with uh, 26 million um, stem cells separated uh, four weeks apart. So one month and then another month. And what they found is that the glucose low was lower post-eating post and the hemoglobin A1C went down up to two years. So it was a pretty long lasting treatment. The insulin usage went down, the fasting C-peptide was improved. And the conclusion is that the transplant of umbilical cord MSCs was not only feasible, it was safe and effective. Now here's a small study looking at amniotic stem cells for type 2 diabetes. Amniotic fluid has been a great um, option in regenerative medicine. Um, we've used that many times over the years. We've shifted more to umbilical cord stem cells, um, but amniotic uh, fluid still has a lot of stem cells and exosomes and regenerative uh, elements in it. Small study, only four patients, but they followed them up for three years, which is unusual. And they found that for the whole four year, three years, uh, the glycemic control was improved dramatically. Um, it also uh, helped with the insulin sensitivity, so they could reduce their insulin amount being needed. So it was a, a great out, uh, outcome for these four patients. All right, so in conclusion, there's been many small studies on both type 1 and type 2. There's a lot more in the works. Um, and our own experience showed that stem cell therapy for diabetes is not only safe, but it's typically very, very effective. And not just for a few months, but usually for one to three years. It does appear that high stem cell numbers are necessary. When we see patients who have failed treatment elsewhere, it's usually because they didn't get enough stem cells or maybe they weren't high quality. The combo is what we've seen to work best, meaning an intravenous procedure as well as injections for either you know, arth the arthritis associated or neuropathy. I do want to point out that treatment with embryonic stem cells or induced pluripotent stem cells are not ready for prime time use by a long shot. So you should run away if anyone suggests those. We use what's called adult stem cells from umbilical cord tissue with either mesenchymal stem cells or hematopoietic stem cell components. Those are safe, those have been very, very effective. Our international treatment program in India is located in New Delhi. The process starts with a free phone consultation. We don't charge for that. You'll be assigned a patient concierge representative who will assist you with all the travel logistics, including travel from the airport to the clinic and the hotel and back. That's included, okay? Um, all international patients do receive a free trip to the Taj Mahal as part of your treatment program. It's one of the seven wonders of the world. It's only about an hour and a half from our center. It's something you do not want to miss. The cells that we use in um, India come from the United States. Um, it's umbilical cord stem cell tissue, USA technology, very high quality, 
and very effective. We have a pristine safety record, meaning no significant adverse events. In over a decade, um, we're processing with FDA quality assurance standards, which are the highest anywhere in the world, and we go above and beyond. We have pure potent stem cells, thousands and thousands of growth factors, exosomes, cytokines, secretomes, and microRNA. It's a uh, bi biological soup of, of elements that help to treat diabetes and other conditions that, that we treat. So get the process started today for you or a loved one. Visit us online at r3stemcell.com slash India. There's a phone number locally on the website. And also call us at our headquarters, plus one, which is USA, 888-988-0515. Thanks for joining me.